Dave from the Redneck Garage. Well, cue the sad music. <laughs> sad face. Um, as you can see, the hood is up here, and this is the back side because the front side has been sanded down again. Um, the painting was a fail. Now, it wasn't clearly evident at the very beginning that it was a fail, but as I looked into the paint, I could see like a little crackling in the clear coat, and it wasn't on the surface, it was down below. Now, the only thing that I can attribute to that to, well, there's two things, right? First of all, is the product itself. This is cheap Speedo Line Clear, and it went on the back side of this thing without any problem with a 70 degree uh, thinner, and it looks phenomenal, almost good enough to not buff if it was on the outside, but it's on the inside. So, I didn't have any problems with this. The TCP Global Clear looked like crap. Okay, so that tells me, one, the product was an issue. Second, temperature was an issue. I was using a 70 degree thinner, and it was probably closer to 100. So. I think that was the main reason that the clear, uh, as it hit the base coat, had these like little crackles in it, little uh, lines, little almost looks like little cracks. I think it was temp I think it was drying out so fast that it just caused that solvent trap. That's a guess. I don't know. Uh, so how do I fix that? Well, sand it down again. First of all, secondly, I bought some slower uh, activating clear, which should help when it gets hot. Uh, I bought some high solids clear. That'll actually give it a lot deeper shine on the hood. So hopefully it'll be like an even better uh, finish on that. And make sure that I give it a little bit more time for to make sure that the base coat uh, flashes out. That's the only other thing I can think of. So those are where I'm at. I'm not ultra sad about it because uh, I need to get the hood right. Because if you don't, this is what I always say. Uh, if the hood doesn't look right, then the whole paint job is going to be mirrored into that. So, anyway, I've got it just about prepped again. It didn't take a super long time. And uh, we're going to be shooting it with high build solid clear, slower evaporator, uh, more flash time in between the base and the clear. But past that, I don't know what else I can do. So we're going to continue on with the video. Um, you're going to kind of see my reaction to n noticing that there's something not quite right with the hood paint. Uh, as I go along because it really did buff out fine. It looked great. The the surface shine was awesome. So I'm going to quit talking now and we'll get back to the video and then I'm going to show you what we're doing after that. Uh, and then we'll just move forward because that's all you can do. <laughs> Trying to get where you can see the bead and the gloss. It actually is really glossed out nicely. It buffed out just sweet, especially when I started using the Makita. Uh, looks great. I'm seeing if you can see that, right? If you can look right where the light is there's a haze or a frost or something in it it's just not the way it should be and I can look into the clear coat and see like it's not really bubbles but it's like a modeling I don't even know what that is right um, I wet sanded this down again with 1500 then 3000 I can still see it there's like some kind of um, imperfection in between the clear coat and the white and in the sunlight, I'm going to look at it over here. It's a, almost like a frosting. Um, it's shiny. The white is shiny, but there's a frosting in there. So I'm redoing the hood, um, which is okay. I've got a ding over here I need to fix, and I can fix that. I'm, I don't know if I could live with this because it just looks kind of funky. When you look across it with a re with a reflection, there's like, you can see it, it's kind of shiny, but then you can see that haze underneath it, it's weird. Uh, and it's something because the, the uh, clear coat dried so fast, I don't know if it didn't have time to settle down, or if it's little air bubbles, or whatever it is, it's because of the heat, I can tell you that, I know. Uh, because it was, I couldn't even get it to flow at all. So, I'm going to be wet sanding this down, and I'm going to redo it. Uh, I'm going to pick a night that's not so stinking hot. But yeah, I just can't live with this. So... Um, thankfully, most of the body work's done. I just got to fix that ding over here. I'll get the light right here is where the ding is. Uh, and this little imperfection here. And basically, I just got to wet sand it and shoot it again. But I'm going to wait for the clear coat to get in. I got the tailgate. I'm going to start prepping for paint. Man, these things are heavy. If you ever taken a tailgate off, this dang thing is like super, super heavy. Holy crap. But I'm going to wet sand it. Get it ready for paint. Then I'm going to start doing doors. But the paint, I'm not that upset about the hood as much as I am wanting to try out this new. I can see it. I don't know if you can see it with the camera. But if you look right in that light, you can see there's a haze to it or something. And I've polished the crap out of this thing. So there's no way there should be any of that. So it's something down in the clear coat. 
um, maybe miniature bow. I don't even know what it is. But I'm done screwing around with it. I'm going to go just sand it off, put a couple more coats of uh, white on it, and then clear the crap out of it with some high solid uh, clear, which will flow out better with the slow solvent in it, and um, I think this will look a lot better. Ah, oh, there's nothing like the smell of Bondo in the morning! I got that sanded out, and I'm not sure how I missed this little ding, but I sure as heck did. So, um, I'm going to wash it off and then shoot a little primer on it, and then really we're going to be pretty close to wet sanding it down again and shooting it. Primer action. All right, let her dry. All right, I'm working on the tailgate uh, before I go to work with my locksmith job. i got about an hour. And I've bondoed this corner. It was been in pretty good. And I've got my Hutchkins Hustler. And if you want to use something to straighten out a flat area like this edge here, an air file is your best bet. It works great. So I'm going to try to uh, get this thing straightened out a little bit. Basically start getting the bondo. If you use a DA, it's going to be all wavy. But if you use an air file, it's going to go across straight. And that's really the reason you want to use it. So I'm going to try to rough in this bondo. Uh, to get this curve to it like the rest of the, the tailgate. Okay, on a prior video, someone asked me what I like to use for um, filling in pinholes and things like that. And it's a polyester finishing putty is what I usually use. Um, this one's called USC Pro Glaze. There's also USC uh, Icing. They're all about the same stuff. It's very fine. It's supposed to be a little bit more refined than like Bondo. You're supposed to get less pinholes. I don't know. I think you could probably use Bondo too as well. But uh, this is my last final coat on the tailgate. And I'm going to use the finishing putty just because um, it actually does sand out real smooth and usually you don't get any pinholes in it. So I guess there is something to it. <laughs> when you're using this, what you'll find is that it's like a little bit more creamy than say like you're just out of the Bondo out of the can. So um, I'd say there is something a little bit different about it. Ground up more, better ingredients. I don't know. It's more expensive than Bondo. So... Let me mix this up and then I'm going to do my last coat, hopefully, last coat on that tailgate. Inside the building here I've got 90 degrees and I've had the AC running for a little bit. Outside we're bumping 100 so this stuff is drying relatively quickly. Alright so there's the putty I've got on there on both corners. Dang it's already hardening up. Um, just put it on there. Let that dry uh, for a little bit, and then I'll come down and hopefully do a final sanding on it, uh, and then prime it, be ready to prep the rest of it and paint this stupid thing. Finally getting a little bit of rain. Very little bit, but it's better than nothing, I guess. Look at her. She's out in the rain. What are you doing? What are you doing, woman? You don't have enough sense to come in out of the rain. That's an old saying, isn't it? What are you doing? Watering the plants. It's raining. All right, I got the bodywork done on the tailgate. This is going to be my guinea pig for the uh, high solids clear because I've never shot that. But it is from Speedo Line. And I think it's going to do a lot better than that TCP stuff. And uh, this is a small area, so if it screws it up, it's not hard to redo it. <laughs> I'm finishing washing this up. I'm going to wash it down real well and then let it dry. And then we'll be shooting the, the back side of this, which is not super critical. Okay, I'm out here cleaning up my gun, about ready to crank up paint on the back of the tailgate as a test subject, right? I've got some UR85 Slow for the uh, base coat, and I bought some premium high solids clear coat. This is about 150 bucks for the gallon of clear and activator in a Slow. So we're going to see how that works on it. I believe it's going to make all the difference in the world. And the back of the uh, tailgate is going to be my test. So I'm going to get all this ready to go, and then we're going to see how it turns out. I had a real hard time seeing in here last time the gloss out. So I put two of these cheap lights in here 
um, they seem, I think they'll work great. circuit breaker. Alright, first coat's flashing out. I can tell that it's drying a lot slower and that's fine. Let this sit here for a few more minutes, get good and dry, and then I'll start spraying again. Base coat looks real good. Let this flash out really well. And then we'll be clear coating with the high solids clear. I'm kind of excited. Okay, here it is, premium high solids clear coat. It's going to be a two to one ratio mixture. I'm going to mix it up and I'm going to throw that on there. Uh, it should be flashed out as far as like the base coat goes. So here we go. Wow, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but the difference between this and the other clear is night and day, so I'll let this dry up overnight, and then we'll take a look at it, but man, it glossed out pretty. No problem with it flowing. Um, I got a couple little runs up there. You got to be a little bit careful with it, but for the most part, this is like freaking phenomenal. All right, I'm going to clean up my gun. It's about 11 o'clock at night. Um, when I paint the hood, I'm probably going to start about 11 or midnight when it's really a lot cooler. Um, but as far as like the uh, premium high solid clear, it's a it's an absolute winner. It was so much easier to spray than the other stuff I did on the hood. So uh, I think that's going to cure that issue in the morning. The next video, we'll take a look at what it looks like. But I mean, right now it just is like beautifully glossed um, no uh, orange peel in it it's all laying down so I'm really happy with that uh, hood will be coming up other side of the tailgate two doors and then we'll be painting the tub I really appreciate you watching I'm gonna go in and take a shower cuz I am sweaty hot <laughs> any questions comments post them below uh, I'm gonna go in and have me a cold one I'm David from the Redneck Garage Keep turning wrenches